President John F. Kennedy decided to honor and uphold commitments made to Vietnam by the Truman and Eisenhower administrations. In December 1961, Kennedy raised the number of American advisors in Vietnam from 1,000 to 1,500 and committed the United States to a more visible and hazardous role. Technically, U.S. personnel were in Vietnam only to train, advise, and support the South Vietnamese. But many Americans came under enemy fire. As American casualties rose, so did the number of U.S. advisors President Kennedy sent to Vietnam. By the summer of 1963, more than 100 Americans had been killed in action, and the number of U.S. advisors and support personnel had escalated to 15,000. And still, the war went badly for the South Vietnamese.